everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I'm coming on here today now to show you how to make these flowers. Okay, now they're made on felt, um, and you use well. There's lots. There's different felt. You can get wool felt, and you can get nylon felt. The nylon one is like lots of different grades of it. There's some that really, doesn't really matter which one you use, and the wool one is a lot thicker one. And I maybe would recommend that you don't use that because it's probably too too heavy. Um, now the what I sew it up with the <laughs> design on there with is this um, wool it's embroidery wool I suppose you could, people I think do need little tiny things with it uh, for dollies and things um, it's an Appleton one and this one here is it says Persian virgin wool but I don't know what the, how to say the name of that this is a little bit thicker than what I use but that doesn't matter you got now the, the reason I'm saying this is because if you want it to look like what I've got that's what you use otherwise you know like you could use um, ordinary thread I, I presume you know like but it would not look the same as this it's not going to come out the same so but it's up to you you can practice on the other so anyhow so we need um, a piece of felt um, I'm going to do this in a bright orange I'm hoping that you can see this now I drew on the one that I had drew I don't know if that's a word but I did draw on the piece that I had and I wasn't very happy with that because it just sat out there really you know dark because it was with a, a um, what's the name pencil that I used a uh, pencil pencil now I do have these um, disappearing things this one is this is a dis disappearing marker and the, the line will disappear now you can just freehand go around here and make a circle now I'm not going to make a very big one because this is a lot of, you know to fill in but I won't be doing it all into this um, time now you want to, you want a circle for the outside and then you need a circle in the inside. Now you won't do it this small because this is way too small, but I'm just doing this to show you. And um, if you can't get one of them disappearing things, you can use pencil, but uh, you've got to cover it over and I with the one I did, I can I'm sure I can see that through there and I don't know why, but um, anyway. Uh, so we'll get a needle and thread. And I had my needle here. Here we go. A while ago. And we're going to <clears throat> start in the centre there. And we're going to do a blanket stitch. Now we're going to do some long, long stitches. You um, and some short ones. Go around the edge and fill it in. Okay. Now I've done this video four times. <laughs> First time wasn't in the shot. Second time wasn't in the shot. I could not don't understand what I kept doing wrong. Um, and now we're on the verge of running out of battery. But anyway, so best to to use the colour as close as you possibly can. You know it doesn't really matter, but it's best if you do. Now you can pretend I went all the way around there doing that long and short stitch, okay? Now to do the centre part, we need to come up there and we'll come back this way and we'll do the blanket stitch now going around in this level. We need to have a, a border, so to speak, in the centre. So we just do long and short stitches, long and short, um, doesn't matter if it's not all the way around but we do that like so okay now <clears throat> you'll need to come back in here and put these bits okay these bits being filling it in with little short and long stitches until you fill it all in like that okay Radio. Um, and then you will have what I've just got here and I'll show you like that and then you will have something that looks like this now this is not straight but that's not bad because your flower will have a more um, you know 
all over the <laughs> it won't be exactly okay so that'll be like that now you'll get the scissors and carefully without cutting your boss name and holding them on an angle like so you go around here as carefully and as closely as you can without cutting your cotton if you land them back there that way it will cut for you because it's the felt it'll sort of just sort of trim it off really nicely you know oh dear I think I cut it anyway if I did I'll be gluing it okay we're not gonna stress out about that because nobody's gonna see a little bit of glue okay now so that's the outside done and then you just get your center cut it a bit out of there now if you're cutting anything out at the center of things you come up through the back and you go like so around in here like this coming through the back is easier than trying to work around in the front part okay and you just cut that out so you come right down and around to the other side okay here we go might have to take a little bit more off so there we've got our center now you see that the flower is not a bad shape is it it's quite good actually um, now we need to have a piece of the, the part for the trumpet in the inside so there's no really exact um, rules with this to the size to, to get that all I did was um, because I just you know did that freehand anyway um, I'm just going to cut that like this too and you can do it too it's not it's not hard it's just you know have that as long as you want it to be and this part here needs to look like that you know so it's too big I can say I can say that it's too big because uh, only by a fraction so by the time I sew that up it should be fine now I had a glue explosion here while I was in bed last night and I've got glue from one end of the place to the other so I don't have anything to glue that little bit down that I just a small amount there I'll just stick a bit of glue on that Anyway, I'm going to go around that anyway with some gold thread or something in a minute. So we're not going to worry about that. It's going to be held down. Uh, now I'm just going to put this inside bit in there, which I've got a big tangly up mess. Look what I've done. No, don't look what I've done to me cotton. <laughs> ah, dear. I can get... Can't keep my sewing room tidy. I'm too... I'm busy. I'm got time to do that. It's terrible, I know, but... I go looking for something and I put things all over the place. But anyway, I'm sure everybody else understands what that's like. So we're going to sew this now. <clears throat> Just by doing a few stitches over. So down to the end. And then we'll come back up to the centre. Or I suppose you could glue it want to glue it I don't know if I could attempt that myself because that part I might do but the inside of this you could not really but that's going to go in there like that okay so we're going to come up through the flower petal and we're going to join this into it with a buttonhole stitch okay and he's a nice, nice bright one isn't he this one Mm. Yeah, right. Oh, I hope you can see what the oh dear. I'm gonna be ever so unhappy. <laughs> now, it doesn't matter how close or far apart you but best you know, you want it nice and tidy. You can do it nice and tidy as you're going round. You can make I think I have made smaller, but it's harder when you get smaller centres. The, the, you know, the smaller the centre, the harder it is to, to do. Although, I have, um, I'll persevere sometimes with them until they, until they go, they go properly for me. I've got to, um, get it right. Like this one here, I've done five times, four times, because I had different reasons why it wasn't working for me. Had a busy day today. Did some posting. I did some. Got on a um, scooter thing up at the 
mobility place to try and see if I could drive it so I can get one of those so I can drive myself around or take myself to places where I can't stand up for very long and, and then I'll be able to, to do that. Now there you go, there's your, here's your flower with his little trumpety bit plus the bit I cut there which I'm going to and if that happens to you don't you panic just glue it back down just glue it down it'll, it'll look fine okay now we're going to put the piece in the center just end that off at the back cut that off and you just put the um, a fluffy bit and by that I mean I'm going to get a bit of this silk oh, you can use wool you can use anything you like you know but um, I've just got a little bit of this silk thread here that I will cut and um, turn him over a few times here even maybe once again but what I'm going to do is I'll get the I'll get my piece of wool here I'll fold this a fair few times like so go round, lap around it like that and catch hold of it <laughs> lasso him sort of thing lap through there there you go now I can, I think I've got control, you have control, now, yeah, you've got that like so, you need to snip this, like that, I'll give him a bit more to do, like that, get, I used to do this on my fingernail once, but I flick this up. Put, by putting the needle through the thread and I've got here something a bit of piece of paper wool oh no that's not what I need to do it with there be something here I can put it on what I'm doing is just got the needle and I'm spreading the little bits of thread apart so it'll turn into a, a fluffiness, see, like that, and then I will get this, and I should push that down in through there, like this, at the other end there, and look at that, I've got a nice fluffy one of those, and now, I think we'll put a couple of stamens in there, I've got a, I've got a few here somewhere about, on the jar full, actually, but I don't know what colour I want to put in there, Maybe the white might give it a bit of a lift along. I don't know if they're too big or not. I don't know, they look pretty. The two. I want, only want three. I want three or six. I have this thing about, well, I think, I believe that nature also does a thing about having things um, uneven. Measure that, that should go down in there a fair way. Supposedly, the eye doesn't like to look at one thing, or t I mean, one thing or two things. Your eye likes to see <clears throat> three. Something to do with design. <laughs> and the push those. I'll put some glue on later when I, when I come across some more glue because I've got to find some glue. I've, I've exploded mine all through the place. Like I said, come on, you go down in there. Your little business, I'll stick him in there, push it, push that down in there, and there's another one. Maybe I've taken it too far, <clears throat> or I haven't cut enough of these things here. Okay, so you can just adjust yours to wherever you'd like them to be, and there's your, there's your flower. I'm hoping that doesn't look too bad. He's not too bad looking, is he? There's another one that I did earlier when I was practicing. Anyway, um, I'll just show you a little quick look because I don't think I think I've still got a bit of camera. I've been make I made this my pin cushion that I did <coughs> because <coughs> excuse me, I only had a tiny one. I only had a tiny one, and it would not hold all my. It was a little one I did with a cup. Would not hold all my pins or my stick pins and things. So. I got some nice goodies from uh, Irene and I put one of her 
uh, flowers on there and I put a trim that she sent me around here and I've um, made this with four um, oh, have I got four or five I got five um, spaghetti tins and I love it you can pick it up and it's not too heavy it's not light it's, you know and you can get hold of it and uh, I just absolutely love it it's got plenty of room for everything anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time